Hi YouTube, did you know you can print to an HP 82240A or B red eye infrared thermal printer from your palm devices? Today I will demonstrate such printing with my handy palm tungsten C here, which also has the Free42 HP 42S emulator that will be the subject of a future video. The red eye printing software works on palms running Palmos 3.0 and higher according to the software's website. For newer palms running Palmos 5 or higher, you'll need the Omni Remote Library. You can download the versions of RedEye and the Omni Remote Library I'm using from the links to my website in the description. Okay. Now first, let's take a look at the Red Eye software. As you can see, quickly, it prints the contents of the clipboard with clipboard statistics at the bottom of the page. There are options for word wrap, removing white space, double spacing, and printing in a large font, respectively, on the upper left-hand side of the form. At the top is a drop-down menu for the header. Currently, the header is listed as blank, but I could add date, date and time, long date, or custom headers, which could be really useful if your work's time sensitive or if you wanted to use these thermal printouts for record keeping. Finally, let's take a look at the program menu. We can set the transmission delay, which is 1.8 seconds by default. Set delay, oops, it was 1.8 seconds. I'll set it there, 1.8, done. Okay. Now let's see why it's important to have that transmission delay of 1.8 seconds. And let's uh, make sure my cat understands why it's important too. Um, I opened up the information box and it has tips for the delay and it says by default Red Eye assumes each line of text takes 1.8 seconds to print. Red Eye uses the printer's 200 character buffer so only print jobs larger than that will be affected by the delay setting. And there's our answer. Okay, done, 1.8 seconds. To test Red Eye, I'm going to use it in a highly relevant application, RPN calculator printouts. I'm using Free42 as my RPN calculator emulator. I'll go ahead and open that up. I'll go all Kingston Free42. Now, Free42 emulates all the printing functions of the original 42S, including printing the stack and listing program memory. I've already done both and saved the output to a text file and memo pad entry. To see those printing functions, I'll press the Shift key and then Print. You can see the various options, printing the stack, which I've done, printing user variables, and then the listing programs. I'll exit from that. Let's take a look at the current printout before I go to MemoPad. I'll open up the uh, menu, top menu, look at the printout, and you can see the results of printing the stack twice, user variables and programs, and the contents of the program space, which has this little program I entered in after watching one of Logan West's videos, which, show, which lets you calculate the area of a circle based on its radius. Okay, so now I'll go to the memo pad, select the output to print, copy it, and print it with red eye. All memo pad, now we can see the output. I'll select, oh, select everything from there on down. I'll go command C. Okay, so that's copied. Now Go back to Red Eye. Red Eye. And I will print the clipboard. I'll switch from my palm up to the 82240A so you can see the output better. Now let's watch what comes out of our printer. And 
And so we're printing. We have the stack that came out, the user variables and programs. Now this little program, and I can advance the paper further to help with printing. Voila, a beautiful little hard copy of my work in Free42. I hope this video was helpful to everyone. Please like and subscribe down below. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching.